Hi guys, today's recipe is going to be motichur laddu. First, let's make the batter. In a bowl, uh, take one cup of gram flour, one tablespoon of powdered suji, semolina, a pinch of food color, and some water, and make it into a little bit uh, thick, uh, smooth paste. The batter should not be too thick or too runny. So, if, uh, uh, then make the sugar syrup. In a pan, take sugar and water, and you have to cook this till one string consistency. If you take the spoon and the last drop falling from the spoon forms a string like that is that is the stage which we are looking for. Take it off the heat and add it, uh, a pinch of food color and some cardamom powder. Mix it really well and set that aside. This is the sugar syrup. Uh, so now once the sugar syrup is done, let's make the bundi. This is the slaughtered spoon which I am uh, using to make bundi. Place the spoon over the oil and pour the batter lit, uh, little at a time and tap the batter and so your uh, small bundis are formed don't fry the bundi till they are super crispy you have to fry it a uh, little bit soft so this way the laddu will be soft so drain this each time uh, tap the spoon over the bowl so the holes get cleared so we can make the next batch of bundi now uh, the whole batch is done uh, first uh, heat some oil, uh, ghee in a pan, add in uh, cashew nuts and some raisins, you could use almonds, pista, anything you wish. Fry the nuts till it is nice and golden. Uh, now set that aside. Now uh, add all the bundi into the sugar syrup and mix it really well. So at this point you can add in uh, the fried cashew nut and uh, raisin along with the ghee and mix it really really well. So once everything is combined, set that aside for 5 minutes so the bundis can absorb the syrup. After that, take the mixture in a blender, add 1 teaspoon of boiling hot water and pulse it few times so the bundis are little bit crushed and everything is combined. Just like that. Don't pulse it too much else the bundi will be super mashed. So once it is nice and pulsed, take it in a bowl and grease your hands with some ghee. Take a good portion of the mixture and shape it into laddu. The more ghee you grease your hand with, uh, the super shiny and moist the bundi will be. So set that aside and uh, uh, leave it to cool for around 30 minutes to 1 hour and that's it. Your bundi laddu is made, motichur laddu is done.